Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Uh, this past Saturday, I was at the Washington Crown Mall for a huge card show. Probably the largest in Western Pennsylvania. A uh, lot of dealers. I want to say there was over 300 tables set up. There were some autographs going on. They had some special guests show up. The mascot from the uh, Washington Wild Things was there. Um, great, great opportunity to kind of get out and... Uh, Experience the hobby a little bit. It's free. Uh, I've never been to a card show this large that's been free. Um, and uh, I just uh, I just want to say they do a very nice job with this show. Um, there's come, there's going to be another one in the fall. Uh, I hope they continue to be able to expand and grow and continue to get uh, as many people to come out as they did. Uh, great for the hobby. But let's take a look and see what I, I picked up. So... First dealer I stopped at, and it was a little bit before the uh, the opening. Uh, I was there. This probably was eight thirty ish. And this first dealer uh, looked through, uh, looked at the prices, had about sixty five dollars worth of cards. He uh, asked sixty, thought that was a good deal. So let's take a look at what I got. Now the first are, are just to fill in some things I need in my PC. Uh, I am going to be working on a 80, uh, 73 set, so I, I did pick up a couple cards that I think I'm short uh, with. I don't have them my, for my set. Uh, and you can see the prices are on these. Um, I got a Steve Blass rookie card. It is off-centered, but it's still a rookie card, and I do PC the Pirates, so that's always good. And you'll notice that a lot of the, the cards I picked up here were, were probably PC uh, type cards. Uh, Smokey Burgess, Earl Francis, and then I picked up this, it's a high number, Roy Face, and it's in pretty good shape. Uh, looking at it, a little bit off center, left to right, but uh, still a pretty good, pretty good looking card. Uh, the 64s are nice. I kind of like that design. And this one, this card here is the one that caught my eye. It was a Frank Robinson. Uh, really, really looks really good. Corners aren't bad, a little soft, but it's 64. There is right down here a small little crease. So that's kind of what brought the price of that down a little bit. Uh, there is some marks on the back, but all in all, uh, a nice card in itself. That was the first dealer I stopped at, and nice guy. Um, you'll see uh, I did take some video of, of his uh, setup. The next guy I went to had a $10 case, a $20 case, and I think he might have had a $30 case, and then he had some others were priced. So he was a little on the, um, the higher side of things, but in a $10 case, I found some what I think will end up being some quality quality cards for the price for the value i got this gaylord perry autograph card this is a fleer from 2001 i got a tommy john autograph card and this is tommy john with the dodgers this is a Sports Illustrated from 1999, and that's produced by Fleer also. And the same kind of card as Sports Illustrated was Steve Garvey from the same year, 1999. And it was this one here that first caught my eye. This is a 
Topps Archives autograph of Tony Perez. I thought that was nice. It is numbered out of 29. For $10, I thought that was a pretty good price. So, Hall of Famer autograph. Ah, I thought I couldn't go too bad with that. So there was, those were four cards. I spent $40 there. Uh, I did not think uh, it very reasonable to ask for even less for those. And then in the same section, I came across another dealer that had cheap slabs. And that's become a kind of a YouTube sensation right now is people showing off their cheap slabs. So here are my cheap slabs that I got. Here's the first one. It's a 2019 Bowman Chrome Draft of C.J. Abrams. It's a 9.5. Uh, I know he's not having the greatest of years. There was a lot of hype for him last couple of years. I'm still going to give out hope that he does he does well. Uh, it's a nice looking card, and I like these uh, SGC uh, holders uh, with a black. Uh, so hopefully, uh, hopefully he pans out. And I got this. I I looked at some comps online. I spent spent ten dollars for this. And the comps were running anywhere from $30 to $40. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. I also ended up with another $10 slab. 1971 Dave Concepcion. That's his rookie. VG3. Has on the back $30. I did not pay $30. I paid $10. So I thought that was a pretty good deal too. Um... The comps on eBay seem to be running about $30, between $20 and $30. So another good uh, good value on that one, I think. And the last one I got was this Pete Alonzo Rookie Card, 2019 Tops, Mint 9, $10. Uh, the cases are all pretty good shape here. There's nothing, there's no cracks in the, in the cases. Um... But for $30, I got these three uh, slabs. I think those are three good, cheap slabs. There's a vintage, uh, there's a rookie, and of someone in the majors that's doing well, and kind of a prospect still, a rookie. Um, hopefully, C.J. Abrams will pan out, and 9.5 on that one. So I thought I did okay with those, uh, with those slabs. Uh, I also stopped at a dealer... I picked up some cards for my PC. Um, a lot of these are Pirates. Um, second year card, like Burt Campanaris. Second year card, Louis, Louis Tiant. There's a Frank Thomas in there. Rookie card of Daryl Knowles. Rookie card of Tommy Harper. And these are scratch and dent type cards. These were six for $5, so a little less than a dollar a piece. Roman Mejias, uh, Mickey Vernon, 57 Eddie Yost, 57 Mickey Vernon, Tom Studevant with the Pirates, another Eddie Yost card, uh, Yankees World Series card from, I think it's 63, Herb Score. I got a Mini Minosa card from 61. That's going to be close to the end of his career in uh, Major League Baseball. But the end of a pretty amazing career for him. Mickey Vernon manager card. Mickey Vernon playing card. Frank Thomas with the Pirates. And some more 64s. Smokey Burgess. Bob Friend. Manny Moto, Dave DeBusher, Bob Allen, and the rookie cards of Bob Pretty and Tom Butters. So all in all, for all those cards, I spent $20. Uh, most of those will go into work to try to fill out my Pirates um, team sets. I then stopped at another dealer. And he had 
10 for, uh, they, these were $5 a piece or 10 for 40. Uh, I got 10, so basically $4 a piece on these cards. I did get this Troy Melton Bowman First Chrome Auto card. Um, his, his stats have been pretty good so far. Um, you know, maybe he makes it to the major leagues, maybe not. Josh Young, rookie card, Bowman Chrome. I picked up this 2022 Tops or Minor League Heritage card. Uh, and it's um, has Anthony Volpe on it. Uh, I know he's sort of making a pretty pretty big run right now. Uh, along with a couple other uh, younger players that are kind of prospects coming up. Picked up uh, Chris Morell, Bowman first, and this is paper, I believe. Uh, he's uh, he's doing pretty well so far for the for the Cubs. So I wanted to get one of those early cards for him. Uh, Stephen Kwan for the Indians. Kind of felt like I kind of missed out on him. Didn't get a lot of his cards uh, when they were even cheaper. Here's another Bowman uh, Sterling Stephen Kwan card. I got to Spencer Strider. Uh, it is a numbered uh, out of 2022, and it has the Don Rush rated rookie on it. I kind of like those that that rated rookie logo. I uh, picked up a Joey Votto, and for those that know me, uh, this was not Baseball Card Castle's table, but whoever had he had gotten this from or he got it himself came from Baseball Card Castle, which is my um, local card shop that I, I typically go and buy most of my stuff from. So it was kind of neat to see that. But it was a rookie card of Joey Votto for Alan Ginter. Um, for $4, I thought it was a pretty good deal. And then I got two Drew Jones uh, Bowman first. Now these are both paper, so they're, they're, not, they're not the chrome version. Uh, but I didn't want to miss out on, on his. And for $4, I thought that wasn't too bad of a deal. The next dealer I went to uh, had a number of uh, cards and different prices. I spent uh, ten dollars here. If you know, if you add these up, there actually adds up to about eleven dollars. But again, I got some cards for my PC: uh, the Vern Law from '63, Smokey Burgess '63, the Gary Matthews rookie. These were these next ones were a dollar each. Uh, I got this one because uh, I am going to work on the 73 set. It's pretty off-centered in the back, but still, uh, it'll it'll work for my set I'm going to put together. Uh, there's a Mickey Vernon. I think this is the second Mickey Vernon I've got. Uh, this one is uh, much better condition than the other one. Uh, Rocky Nelson with the Pirates, Bob Friend with the Pirates, and Eddie Yost uh, with the Angels. And there was one last dealer and that I went to, and I picked up a couple of things here. And we'll go, I'm gonna make a special video on this dealer because there's something unique, and I'm not gonna show you in this video, but stick around for my next one to show you. I got something from him that was pretty unique. He had a lot of odd, unusual things. Uh, I got the 1980 Philadelphia Phillies. Um, Burger King set. Uh, there's a number of cards in here. It's a full set, uh, 22 cards. And I'm going to take and I'll go through these cards when we actually take a look at the other item I got. And I also got 1981 Dodgers Police set. Uh, these were each $5 each. Uh, the nice thing about this is it does have a Fernando Valenzuela in it. I believe that's a rookie year for him. So, all in all, I think when I totaled everything out, I spent about $264. Um, tell me what you think. Um, it wasn't what you'd, I would typically have thought I would have picked up. Um, usually, usually I do, I just have a little different style of cards that I pick up. Um, but 
tell me what you think um, as you take a look at this video. If you think I did okay, let me know. If you think, well, I think you could have done better. Uh, it wasn't one of those days where I walked and sat and went through dollar boxes. I didn't do much of that uh, at this show. I was looking at a lot of other, sh other other cards, and prices were pretty good down there. I'll be quite honest. I think the, the hobby, the prices in the hobby are starting to come down a little bit, a little more competitive. Uh, but again, uh, the way the way you enjoy the hobby is you have to get out and, and do things. And these will all go into my PC, and... Hopefully, uh, at some point, I'll take some time and show you some of the things I do have my PC because I've, I've acquired some unique things over the years. So, but thank you for sticking with me. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Uh, if you are a subscriber or if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helps. Uh, always looking to try to grow my channel and just kind of share what I know. Thank you.